Hi everybody, I thought I would do my first tutorial and just start simple and show you how I do the Tacket method um, on my tumblers. I, um, as you know, this channel is Christie's Critters. I do have our company on Etsy, which is Jim and Co. G E M and K O stands for all of our little babies, our fur babies. Uh, Gus, Emmett, Maggie, Kyle, and Owen. So that's what that stands for. Um, I will put the link in the description to the Etsy page if you want to go see what we've been making. And uh, so yeah, we'll start with this. So this is a 20 ounce um, modern curve tumbler from Hog stainless steel depot it is um, I like these they're, they're just a good shape they're not too much of a curve to make it difficult to epoxy and good fit in the hand and all of that so this is the 20 ounce um, I did paint it with rust-oleum's candy pink or pink candy um, I usually just do white underneath or sometimes with the tacking method I don't do anything at all uh, but I wanted to put some pink under here because we are going to use a combo of uh, Glitter Chimps Hollywood Boulevard, which is a super holographic, ultra fine glitter, and then Hot Flash, which is also a super holographic, ultra fine glitter. Um, I'm kind of addicted to my glitter chimp. I love them, so I can't wait to get my first mystery box, and I will. Uh, I'll do an unboxing for that on that for you guys. Um, we just got past our week and a half of our winter storms here in Texas. Thankfully, we had electricity, but we did not have heat the entire time, and uh, so it was not pleasant, but we made it through, and um, you have a lot to be grateful for. I, you know, obviously prayers go out to all the families who had a much harder struggle this past week. Um, but yeah, so we're going to start off with uh, the Tacket over and over. You can get this on Amazon. I think it's, it's about $8, but it, it goes a long ways because you mix it 50-50 water. You can get three of these containers for 79 cents at Ikea. I just mix it and keep it in the container so I can just grab it and use it as you can tell by the glitter around it. Um, and you stir it up and you want it to be, you know, it's fairly thin, um, but it will work wonders, I promise. Big flat brush is good, something that's not going to cause lines on the cup because lines will show if you don't have your tacket smooth on there. Um, so you're going to, we're going to put this on here. We're going to let it dry. People say to let it dry fully like 20 minutes. Mine's ready to go in a couple of minutes and it works fine. I generally put two layers, um, but we'll just kind of get going and, and see what we come up with. This is a brand new brush. I couldn't resist it at Michael's today, but I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see the glue going on because it, it does look a little clear. You don't need a lot. This would probably cover the whole cup. I. I may put more than you need to, but um, my cups come out fine, so I'm not too worried about it. I know some people, they don't mix any water with it. Some people mix more water. The bottle, I believe, does say 50-50, um, so that's what I do, and it works. Like I said, I just kind of wait until it looks semi-dry and it's, uh, you know, tacky to the touch, and then I start in with my glitter. I thought about doing ombre, but I think I'm just going to kind of mix the two glitters together because um, they do look really good together and it makes for a real pretty tumbler. I got some real pretty pattern vinyl on sale today so I want to just a more simple background um, to put that on. We uh, you know we've been doing some iron-on bandanas for our uh, dog because he did recently go blind and we've been making some tie-dye um, which hopefully we'll have posted on there course it's our house so there's a hair we be careful of that I don't wear gloves to do this um, I know some people do I like to be able to feel the glitter flatten so I do not and um, hands are washable uh, my hands are incredibly dry right now from the <laughs> weather and the constant 91% uh, alcohol and uh, fingernail polish remover or acetone um, you can get acetone by the way 100% acetone at the Dollar Tree for a dollar a bottle and you can get the pump for a dollar with the acetone in it works perfect for cleaning off all those things you want to clean off so we want to try to get that kind of thing off there make sure that these lines are smoothed out try to get that glue that's in that rim there
and you can feel you can see the brush catching a little bit so you can feel for me it's already getting pretty sticky um, so that's nice and smooth just kind of go over it again one more time make sure I don't have any strange lines and then we'll give it a minute uh, unfortunately for those of you that watch this channel for updates on the fish and things like that one of the fish did not make it through the storm I had extra heaters in the tanks but he was already a little bit sick and uh, he just didn't didn't make it through it was a little too rough on his system I think so pretty sad I, like I said I'm grateful we had electricity though because I, I think I would have lost more of them um, unfortunately please ignore my hands like I said they are very dry and I definitely need a bit of manicure so um, but I'll go I'm gonna do a video separate on on Blanco to go over that um, I do put the cover this just so I don't spray glitter all in it um, but see you can see that's that it's already tacky to the touch so um, I like to just put I'm gonna mix them together so on the bottom I like to put it put it on there and then just kind of spread it around it's gonna kind of go everywhere anyways now I'm not tacking it down yet I'm just making sure I have coverage um, and then I'm gonna go through and I'll put like a I don't want to say a lump of it but a little bit of it on there and I'll kind of do this to make it stick a little more I said, I'm not tagging it down yet I'm just spreading the glitter you can just slop it on too because I'm just gonna put it back in the bottle so. depends on my mood sometimes I like to kind of play with it and make sure it's in place and I will do two layers um, like I said I will just literally once this dries if I don't like the coverage I will put more tacket over it and do another coat immediately um, once I am done and it's dry and good to go um, sometimes I will seal it with like a clear gloss uh, or clear matte just to make sure it's not moving around too much with the epoxy um, you don't have to you don't have to paint the cup either I do them a lot on just the steel um, but the paint does help give it more of a solid background so there's a definite advantage to that uh, I do put the glitter that comes off at this stage back in the container after this stage it can get a little, little lumpy so I don't put it back in there um, so let me put this back in the container so we don't want to waste our precious pink glitter and yes I make a, a mess I don't care it's fine and then let's just put you know a little random sprinkle see so it gives it just that little bit of gold shine but um, didn't have to use a lot of that I think my daughter is going to be using that uh, for a cup she's going to be doing okay plain glitter okay so this is where the really fun part goes and where you get to see it I try to do one direction to begin with just to get the first coat the glitter off and then we'll come back around and you guys will see why I like this method it's a really great background tattoo tumblers look really good over the tacket method um, I think they're beautiful okay so you're just gonna smooth that glitter down pretty soon you're gonna start seeing that holographic rainbow Pull a little closer. I don't know if you guys can see how flat it gets, but that's the main point of this. You're just flattening it out, so it's totally smooth on the tumbler. You don't have to worry about kind of covering any chunky glitter, which, as we know, can be difficult. But look, see when you just rub the rub your finger on it, and then I just go for it. Once I get that first layer off. And the shine is amazing. I have seen people use um, 
of Elmer's or Mod Podge to do it. I've tried a couple of different um, glues. I, I like the Tacket over and over the best. I think it does the best. However, you can use not like Elmer's School Glue or Mod Podge and it will work. So if you are trying to budget or you just don't want to buy the extra glue until you try it out, you can certainly try it with the others. The trick is you have to let it dry enough to be tacky, but not so much that it is completely dry with those because then they lose the tack. Um, I did try Aileen's, um, she has that you know, sticky glue or whatever. It did not work very well. The Mod Podge worked a little bit better. I'm always looking for a bargain doing this. It can be quite expensive, so I always do the dollar store tricks and the, all that. So if there's a way I can do it a little less expensive, I will. Um, but I think for this particular thing, I, I like it this bed, the best. So, there you go. I am going to put the second layer on, just so you guys can see. This one could probably be fine without it, but uh, just so you guys can see how that goes. I will go ahead and put that on there. Let me get another piece of paper. We'll just save that underneath. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're just going to do the same exact thing. Straight over this glitter. Totally fine. You'll be able to see the tag in a little better this time. And yes, <laughs> glitter is flying, but that's okay. If you're doing tumblers, you're used to being covered in glitter. Go ahead and get the first coat on there. I get it coated and then I go back and get it smoothed out. I do use a little more glue the second time around because it is soaking into the glitter a little bit. And I just feel like you need a little extra. This particular tumbler seems to have quite a little gap right there. You don't usually get quite so much caught in that area. But now, once you get it on there, you just play with it, get it smooth. I love this brush. I'm glad I got it. If it was on sale, or I pro probably wouldn't have. Um, my favorite brush to do this before I got this one was makeup brush. Works great. The trick is you just want something that's going to make it smooth. Um, the Mod Pod brushes, those are crazy. They want like 15 bucks for those things and they're just like a makeup brush. So you can find makeup brushes just like those also. So it all depends on your budget and what you like and what you want to do. All right. Now it does take longer for the second coat to dry and get tacky. So let's see. Nice and smooth. Don't panic, we haven't ruined it. <laughs> You're definitely gonna be able to see the difference. This time I think I'm gonna put the Hollywood Boulevard on first and then some of the hot flash over it. You can also, if you want to speed your drying process, it's still a little wet. It sticks on your fingers more when it's wet. That's a good way to tell. See this hand even with rubbing it? It really doesn't stick to you. If it's a little damp and you're trying to do it, it's going to stick to you and you're going to basically tack it your finger. So that's why you want to wait a little longer on the second coat. Okay, so I'll be right back with you guys as soon as this gets dried up a little bit. I'll come back and we'll put the second coat on. Okay, we got our little spring sounding there. And you're just gonna do the same thing.
Never forget your bottom. On this coat, I'm just going to sprinkle it. I'm not going to rub it on there because I don't want to take a chance of it being a little damp and me putting damp glitter in with this other glitter. So I'd rather keep it good and just do it this nice way of sprinkling it on there. Be generous with it. You're going to put it back in the bottle. You want to make sure it's all coated, so it's better to be generous. Okay. And uh, no worries, I will clean up this table when we're done. And then what I'll do is I'll just turn the paper over. And we can get some of this pink on here. I said I love Glitter Chimps colors and um, glitters. They give you, it's a weighed two ounces in every container, so you're getting a good amount in every container and I was pricing out Michaels and it's very equivalent price it's not you know not higher and it's good quality and they're super nice and shipping is very fast and it's, I really like it okay so we are going to do the same thing um, we're just gonna rub the extra off and then tap it down to where it's nice and flat so you'll, you'll definitely see the better coverage. Sometimes on this second coat I will take a brush and brush off the excess and then rub it down. Let's just take a fluffy. And that's going to get a lot of the excess glitter off for you. I save all my extra glitter like this and I put it in little cups and then I have my dump it glitters and I do reuse them on certain projects if I have something that, you know, I try to keep it in the same color scheme at least. Now you can go one direction, consistent, or you can... It really doesn't matter. The whole point is just to make it lay flat. So it's whatever. And I'm not pushing real hard. I'm just kind of rubbing the surface. And there you have it. Tacked method tumbler. You could do this as is um, and it would be beautiful. You can add decals. It's beautiful also. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to add on this one yet, but I wanted just a simple glitter coat so that I could add whatever onto it. Um, those colors are beautiful combined. Um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I know there's other videos out there that I'm sure are um, probably better since this is my first one. And um, Mrs. Nola's Glitter did one, and then um, Flynn Sisters, um, I think she did one too, so I've watched both of those. Um, I watch as many videos as I can of different methods to try to get myself educated and then try them out and see what I like and what I don't like, because everybody has their own style. Um, and you'll find what fits you best. Um, now, at this point, you can either take... Um, a seal you can go out and spray it with rust-oleum or whatever gloss or matte you want I mean the matte works best it helps the epoxy stick a little better in my opinion um, you can just go straight to epoxy from this point so what I generally do with these is I do a very thin coat of epoxy to where you just I pour it on the bottom of the cup like 
maybe five, 10 milliliters, and I bring it down and then I put it in the rack and I dry it. I don't spin it or anything. It's just a thin coat just to kind of seal it, get it going. And then I'll do my decals and then uh, put my thicker coat of epoxy. But it's really what your preference is as far as getting your epoxies, uh, your cups epoxied and, and finished off and what you're comfortable with. But as you can see, it's gorgeous. You can do this with any, um, it doesn't even have to be holographic. The holographic just does that nice rainbow effect, but you can do it with any ultra fine glitter. Um, the chunkier glitters just don't lay down as well. Uh, so yeah, so like I said, I hope that was helpful to you guys. Um, as I always say, I hope everybody stays happy, healthy, and safe out there. Um, please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, all of the above, and uh, help me get this business going along with the channel. Um, I will be posting more videos on the animals as well, and I will have the link to the Etsy shop in the description below. Uh, so thanks again very much for sticking with me and watching this, and please let me know if there's any questions, and I'll be happy to answer anything I can. Y'all have a great night. Hi guys, I decided I'd go ahead and show you what I meant by just the small epoxy coat to uh, kind of seal it in. I think I saw this, uh, I think maybe Flynn Sisters, but the Flynn Sister video did did this method. Um, I can't remember, but I was like, that's a good idea, so I stole it. Um, so I'm just going to take probably 10 total milliliters. So this is my part A. You don't want a lot on there because the way you're going to hang it and then since you're not spinning it, you don't want it to just drop. Um, and you get these weird droplets at the bottom of the mouth of the cup. And then you just have to do more, more sanding and nobody wants that. Okay, five of A. Go up to the ten. I will tell you, Epoxy did not care for the cold weather that we were having without the heater in this house. I had to put a heater on it to get it to set. This is probably going to be too much, but what I do is anytime I have leftover Epoxy, I either use it to dome my keychains, or if there's a lot, I will actually make a keychain or some other project so that I don't, it doesn't go to waste. We all know it's not inexpensive. Um, this is the, I think it's called a Lumalite. Get it on Amazon. It's $80 for what they call the gallon, which is basically a half gallon of A and a half gallon of B. And it works pretty well. Um, I've had a couple of mishaps, just too much alcohol ink or too cold or whatever the case may be but it mixes together real fast you can see it's already clear hopefully you can see it's already clear there are bubbles I'm not concerned about bubbles because of the way I'm gonna put it on there and if I was I would certainly just take a heat gun to it before I put it on so when I'm doing something like this I'm not real gentle with my epoxy and making sure there's no bubbles so. Okay, so we have that mixed. I'm just gonna take it. I hope you guys can see see what I'm doing here. Leave the top like a reservoir and I just pull it down over the sides. You can tell if you don't have any epoxy in a certain spot because your finger won't slide as much. And that's when you may want to get some more or at least make sure your finger's not dragging too much because you can drag the glitter off of the cup. Getting your cup warmed up will help if you do this. My cup is cold, I can feel it. I may put some heat to it in just a second just to make this slide down a little better. There's always a little extra on the bottom, so if you think you don't have enough, swipe the bottom or the side, and I bet you'll get enough on your gloves to go over it, because see, it is definitely covering 
no problem. So basically it's a thin coat like you would use if you were going to use uh, your epoxy to glitter your tumbler. It's the same, same thing, but this time you're just using it to seal it. And that way you're not having to worry about getting it on the tumbler, getting it level. You're just doing that much. I'm going to put it over on my drying rack over there and let it sit till tomorrow when I get up and then it will be ready for me to put company logo on the bottom. Always, always, always put your company logo. Um, people need to know that you, who worked on it. It's a lot of work, put a lot of time and energy and money into it and that way it's a uh, good advertising. People can see who they bought the cup from and gives them an opportunity to ask about it and talk about it. So always include that. All right, just wanted to show you guys that real quick. I hope that was helpful as well. Um, have a great night and uh, we'll have to see what comes of this cup. <laughs> have a good one. This is just the other half of the epoxy. I'm gonna use it on this cup. It needs a whole, whole coat, but let's just give it a nice little shine. This is a tacket method with the tattoos over it that I was talking about. So you'll be able to see once I get this done on here. See, a little goes a long ways because this is a 30 ounce modern curve and that other half of that epoxy easily coated the whole thing. See, we have company logo on the bottom and this one is actually um, feta fish. So it's uh, watercolor temporary tattoos over the tacket method. So you can see that it's, it's silver pretty. It's a nice background. You have to use a little bit lighter or to wash out your tattoo pretty, pretty badly. But yeah. All right, guys. Sorry. This is a little bit of bonus for you to show that. Go ahead and use that uh, epoxy. Put it to good use. Y'all have a good night. <laughs>